want that Ferrari, then I swear. I want that Bugatti, just for her. Running through the space with my wall. Guys, it's Steven here with my uh, tutorial on how to make thumbnails as you can see my thumbnails are getting better as each um, video passes I think my best one so far is this one just because it's so simple but it looks very nice compared to this where it's a lot crowder a uh, crowdier crowded 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 okay so first of all you need Photoshop and yeah first thing you gotta look for is your background so I'm just do um I'm thinking of doing a green background, so green grunge background. You guys can use radial or sunburst backgrounds, or just any background you choose, but I just like these types of backgrounds. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this one, save it, and then it, and then, and um, press file. Oh wait, press file new. And then follow these dimensions. And if if you got, if I'm going to fast at any point of the video, you guys can just pause it. Oh, and if we can reach of uh, 10 likes, before I was saying 25 likes, but I think 10 likes is more um, more reasonable. So if we can reach 10 likes, that would be great. And please leave a, su a, sub a subscribe and or a comment. So if the dimensions for this is um, the width of your video. Oh no, actually no it isn't. It's 1280 by 720. I was thinking about something else. So I'm gonna make this called thumbnail. Okay. And make sure it's set as a transparent background and not a white background. Okay, so now you go back to file and you go to place this time instead of new. And then you find your um background I guess yeah you find your background I'm right here I'm gonna insert it I'm gonna stretch it out so it fits oh my god all right again okay. I'm gonna press the check mark oh I did a little, bit, little misplaced on this one I'm gonna do it again Okay, so once you've done, done that, you will need to get some fonts. I, I'm i going to choose a font right now. Oh, it's kind of lagging. Okay, I'm going to put it up to 300 font, size font. And then this is where you can download a lot of fonts. I'll be leaving the fonts I use in the description, in the, in, in the description below. So I'm going to use this, and I'm going to say thumbnail. Yeah, and you move this down it's gonna be called thumbnail tutorials or how to make a thumbnail actually no, a thumbnail tutorial thumbnail tutorial so I don't like this font actually so I'll be changing it to something more like suiting um maybe this yes this one looks nice i might make it black this time or no so i'm gonna just type this down uh i'm gonna fast forward this so yeah no i might not actually fast forward this so i'm gonna say tutorial because this is a tutorial and I might change this to a cursive type of writing because it adds a better effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and find a cursive or like a good, uh, like a, yeah, cursive type thing. I'm not sure if I like that, but I'm tr trying to find a cursive one. Um, or I, I might have to stay to the normal font. Nah, I'm gonna just use the same font. 
So what's this font called? It's called Super Die. I'll be leaving that in the description. Um, so Super Die. So I'm just gonna rearrange this. You guys can really do it any way you like want. It's all personal preference, what color you want and all that. I'm just showing you guys ways to do it. Just the basic steps. I'm not even good at this stuff. So this is the important part where it makes it look very nice. So. Actually no, I'm gonna say how to make how to make how to make a good a, a good where did I, make a thumbnail. Okay now that looks a bit better. So I'm just going to change the font size to fit the screen. Okay. So this is what I was talking about. This is the important part. Um, it's called blending options. Once you select it from the right side where the layers are. I'll be showing you guys right now. Okay. So just right click it and press blending options. Simple as that. And what I usually do is I don't change anything but this drop shadow and this inner shadow so we're just gonna set this as 100 and you guys can see that it's a little bit dark at the back 0 33 and 33 usually I do it like that but if I needed to um, make it big like more emphasize, emphasize it more I would do 44 but I want to do more than that so here I just do green or a color that's green so I can see that kind of that's really all I changed, but if you guys want to change like the, the bevel and em, emboss, embo I don't even know how to say that. You guys can do like some weird stuff that looks nice actually, but I'm not, I might do this. I might, okay, I'm going to keep it like that. So you do the same thing with the other one. But this time, I don't know, this time you, you see a black Maybe black though, like the drop shadow. And sometimes I even use the pat pattern overlay and add um this pattern. No, I don't like it, so I'll take it off. I'll be adding inner shadow, and I'm gonna also add green on this one. Uh, this is gonna be 10 actually this 10 and this 10 right now it doesn't look that good so I'll be making I'm gonna say a good trailer I mean a good t thumbnail so it so the it, uh, full up more space a good good so how I'm gonna emphasize good is I'm gonna put it in a different font but it has to be like a sharp font like this so go ahead and find this animal silent that's good no that doesn't look good it looks like all O's right there uh -huh. oh I can't find one maybe power chord I like that font remember I'll, I'll, as I said I'm gonna add all the fonts in the description so you guys can download it for yourselves that looks like three it looks like three o's too so man so hard to find up i'll be okay I just use this one Okay, so I don't know what color to put this in, so, actually, so maybe I should put it as the texture thing, the texture layer thing, whatever it's called, Pat pattern overlay, I might add it just like that, 
Yeah, I think I might do that. And I'm gonna add the green again. The drop shadow, obviously, drop shot, drop shadow is um very key to making uh, to making a good thumbnail. And remember, guys, I'm just uh, a beginner at this stuff. I made a YouTube channel like two days ago. To be honest, I I don't, I don't like I don't like it, so I'll do super die as the font. I'm just gonna change it to all the same. That actually looks better. Okay, so we're almost done. The last thing I would actually want to do is change the thumbnail again because it's just too plain. I'm gonna change the bevel and emboss. And I never do this, but I'm doing it solely because of this video. I'm just messing around with the settings and stuff, so I have no idea what I'm actually doing. Um, no, I'm making it all, I don't know, man, I might have to make it all white. Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna make it all white. Just cause, I don't know man, it, it, it didn't look good as... It didn't look good. So I'm just gonna set this as 33. 33. It looks somewhat good, I guess. You could say that. But I hope this video isn't too long. It's 11 minutes long. Okay, guys. I'm gonna... I'm gonna like edit it and maybe um maybe like change it up and so and make it shorter but right now it's a bit too long so I'm gonna do everything quicker okay so once you're done that you're gonna go ahead and change the background now which is very important okay so you do the same you don't do it actually you don't do the same thing you press on the background the layer and you press filter blur and uh, motion blur I think this this green this uh you know the, you see the pixels and stuff I think it's just gonna fade. It's not actually like that. It's happened so many times. I think it's like tr transparent kind of. But I just don't like it. I'm gonna change the good. Sorry guys for this long video, but I'm gonna change the good to green actually. Just don't like it. It's one of my worst thumbnails actually. Um, okay, can you get that green in? Why isn't it? Um, let's check why it isn't changing in color. Pattern overlay, take that off. There, now you guys see it. Go to good. Oh, I gotta make this real, real quick. And the last and final thing I'll do is change this white, black, white, there. And as you can see, that's the final product. Obviously, my other ones are better, like, uh, where is it? My other thumbnails are better. But I don't know, it just it doesn't seem that good. But I guess that will do. So just save it. Make sure to save it as PNG, not a Photoshop file. So that's going to be my thumbnail for this video that I'm working on right now. Right here. If you guys want to see a sneak peek of what... Actually, you're going to see this in the beginning of the video. So, yeah.
thank you for watching guys if you guys can leave a subscribe and like support it would be much appreciated thank you for watching i'm out